Indonesia's Mount Liwatobi Laki Laki erupted again for the second time Thursday, spewing a column of hot clouds that rose 8,000 meters from its peak, three days after a midnight eruption killed nine people and injured dozens of others. There was no immediate report of casualties from the latest eruption. The 1,584-meter volcano on Indonesia's remote island of Flores unleashed clouds of gray-hot ash Thursday. The mixture of rock, lava and gas was thrown up to one kilometer from its crater, Indonesia's Center for Volcanology and Disaster Mitigation said in a statement. The volcano lulled in activity since Monday's deadly eruption killed nine people and injured 64 others. Monday's eruption affected more than 10,000 people in 10 villages. About 4,400 villagers moved into makeshift emergency shelters after the eruption, which destroyed seven schools, nearly two dozen houses and a convent on the majority Catholic island. The country's volcano monitoring agency increased Liwatobi Laki Laki's alert status to the highest level and more than doubled the exclusion zone to a 7-kilometer radius since then, prohibiting any activity in that area. Authorities warned the thousands of people who fled not to return home, as the government planned to move about 16,000 residents out of the danger zone, said National Disaster Management Agency head Suharyanto, who like many Indonesians uses a single name. Permanent relocation is considered as a long-term mitigation measure to anticipate eruption in the future, Suharyanto told reporters after visiting the devastated areas Thursday. Liwatobi Laki Laki is one of a pair of stratovolcanoes in the East Flores district of East Nusa Tenggara province, known locally as the Husband and Wife Mountains. Laki Laki means man, while its mate is Liwatobi Perempuan, or woman. Siap, siap, siap. Kalau bukan dia sudah turun ke bawah itu. Ya, itu awan panas tadi. Tadi kan dia lari ke sana, tadi duli pali tadi. Sudah bersih sekali, dia pindah. Pulang-pulang, pulang-pulang saja, pulang-pulang. Tak pulang kita siang. Hujan pasir, pokoknya hujan, hujan pasir. Hujan pasir. Jadi masih banyak yang belum dievakuasi. Mama. Kan kita bisa bawa bawaan berat karena menyangkut pokok. Some Moscow residents reacted to news of Donald Trump's election win on Wednesday. Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. One Muscovite reacted with restraint to the election result saying that the new president would hardly mean a change in U.S. policy towards Russia. For Russia, it seems to me, this is neither good nor bad, but we are optimists, we hope that he is holding the vector towards stopping the bloodshed, said Maria Koroshilova. Trump, who has touted his good relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin and called the Russian leader, pretty smart, for invading Ukraine has repeatedly criticized American backing of Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov noted Trump's campaign statements about his intention to end wars, saying that those were important statements, but now after the victory, 
while getting ready to enter the Oval Office or entering the Oval Office, statements could sometimes change. We will thoroughly analyze everything, watch everything and will make conclusions based on concrete words and concrete steps," Peskov said. I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might expect, Sam Green, director of Democratic Resilience at the Center for European Policy Analysis, said in an interview to AP on Wednesday. Green said that surrendering Ukraine to Russia might mean loss of political capital for Trump. Итак, 47-м президентом США станет Дональд Трамп. Несмотря на то, что подсчет бюллетеней еще окончательно не завершен, необходимую отметку в 270 голосов выборщиков он уже преодолел. Победу на выборах Трампу принес штат Висконсин, где Камала Харрис лишилась всяческих шансов. Были заявления, которые, в которых речь шла о его мирных устремлениях на международной арене, о его устремлениях на то, чтобы прервать вот эту вот спираль и тотальную политику национальную на продолжение старых войн и развязывание новых войн. Да, это заявление достаточно важное, но теперь уже после победы, собственно, готовясь войти в овальный кабинет или войдя в овальный кабинет, вот иногда заявление приобретает другой тон, и поэтому мы говорим что мы тщательно все анализируем, наблюдаем за всем и будем делать выводы по конкретным словам и конкретным шагам. Russian television has been for a very long time talking about uh... Trump as a repudiation and, and, and the selection as the opportunity for repudiation of Biden and everything that he stands for, particularly support for uh, for Ukraine. Um, we'll see how long that lasts because I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that uh, that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might uh, might expect. He likes to engage in deals, but he needs to get something out of that deal. Uh, and it's not clear to me what Putin can put on the table that would make a, a resolution of, 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 of the conflict in Ukraine palatable to both of those men uh, in their own political context. And it's not clear to me that Trump would be willing to take the loss of political capital uh, in, in Washington and on Capitol Hill that would come from uh, essentially surrendering Ukraine to to the Russians. Uh. Настолько серьезный аппарат власти, который его просто может ну, диктовать условия ему в том числе. Мне так кажется. Поэтому навряд ли что-то серьезное изменится. Для России, мне кажется, это... Неплохо, нехорошо, но мы, мы оптимисты, надеемся на то, что он, в общем, поддержит вектор в сторону э, прекращения э, кровопролития. Это ему тоже неинтересно, потому что он э, видит, что мир катится в бездну. Да без разницы. Они все говорят одно, делают другое. Поэтому время покажет. Что там, чего, кто был прав, кто не прав. Ну, выбрали, выбрали. Нормальный выбор, их страна.